you know, the most important thing when dealing with a disturbing or disturbed toxic person after being in a manipulationship because when you're with that person I know you thought you was in a relationship you were not you were never in a relationship they have no emotions they are not connected emotionally to you a pet or their children not even their 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 toxic family members they're not connected in fact they're they all bump heads and they utilize one another but the most important thing that you must do when you finally escape you heard me right when you finally escape that manipulation ship that you were ensnared by a narcissist and by the way a narcissist will project they probably can't even spell the word project but they will project on you their vomit and their lies and their smear campaign and they'll show half of the truth they'll show half of a video there's two parts to a story people say oh it's my part your story your story their story and god no there's two parts okay and one of those parts is the truth well with the toxic um mental health disturbed narcissist does is they'll show everybody just the part where they provoked you it's called a provoke reaction and the judges are aware of this and we're also reminding them it's called a provoked reaction and they'll show when they finally pushed you because anybody you know real decent people if you keep pushing them and playing with their mind you know, with the word salad, all your foul filth and filth. Yeah, they're going to have a moment on you too. They're going to give you right back what you gave them. Mm-hmm. So, the narcissists think they're doing something. When it's so funny that the victim left. Why does the narcissist keep showing up? Why, if the narcissist is the victim, somebody help me understand that. Why you keep popping up? And then you got all your narcissists. The narcissists will have all their narcissist cult family contact you, media. Some of them even write letters with their dumb self. They the lessers, L-E-S-S-E-R. They are lesser narcissists. They probably don't even know what a narcissist is, but they're quick to call somebody else. That. And if you call somebody else a narcissist, especially when you don't even know them, we know who the real narcissist is. Yeah. It's it's just unbeknownst to me how what they do is mimic you. Everything about you. They mimic how to smile because they really don't laugh. And most of them are dirty. And yes, I said it. They're dirty-minded, dirty-handed, dirty-dressing, nasty. They will live, a lesser will live in the worst of the worst. And will work at Dunkin' Donuts. They be 40 years old working at Dunkin' Donuts, child. Barely making it. Because they want you to take care of them. But I digress. Let me get back. Oh, let me say, let me let, let, let me say a word for the narcissist that's listening. Because that's all they can do. They can't, they can barely read. None of them graduate. We talking about the lesser. When you talk to, about the mid-grange mid or the grandiose, they wish they could be a grandiose, honey. They brain don't expand that far. But let me stay focused about the lesser narcissists. 
and it, it's called lesser because they don't want nothing they they are okay being bummed down they are okay you could give them knowledge they'll vomit it up they want nothing to do with life real life decency mm -mm. but i digress oh i said it again let me let me give them a word because they're listening you know the narcissists they they listen and all the minions and all the demons and all the gents that's connected to them they listen and they 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 they, they, they are listen there's nothing smart about them not a thing not a thing so as i was saying when i said i digress basically what i'm saying is let me back up <laughs> for the dumb ones in the back um when you escape from the vicious teeth that got the salivating sleek cold dripping out of their mouth monster demon demonic entities of a narcissist when you finally escape from them and leave no matter how you had to leave honey sometimes people leave and don't care about nothing they left back like screen tvs and none of that that's how bad the victim wanted away from you the narcissist they don't want none of their clothes no nothing just the clothes on their back because see they will uh be themselves again you know working and living decent with a decent place not some nasty roach infested rats all climbing all up and your kids walking on it with their socks and rat doo-doo yeah that's how that's how they be these guys be finding these narcissists living nasty and trifling and that's how some of these um females be finding these narcissists just living nasty and they dare to give them a chance honey oh so disgusting anyway when you finally leave that manipulation ship escaping by the draw of your teeth because they dangerous and 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 everybody everybody that knows them has seen them and their dangerous behavior trust me <laughs> they think they videotaping mm -mm. yep <clears throat> The most important thing for you to do when you escape from the claws of a vicious, toxic, demonic, narcissist, toxic person that's damaged to no end. And they're damaged to no end because they don't want help. They like being ugly and nasty and disrespectful and dirty and trifling and hating people and talking about people they love talking about people honey they need their own gossip column right in prison <laughs> the most important thing that you need to do is get your safety i mean get you some safety honey where you're covered front and back and how they say all eyes on me because if they're not if the lesser narcissists think that people are dumb, that shows just how stupid they are. And I'm saying it. I sure I'm using these words. Alba can get me. But, honey, I'm about sick of these piss whore. Like, I have a narcissist. The narcissist mother tell me, we struggle. That's what we do. <laughs> we strugglers. And she wasn't lying. But anyway, the most important thing that you need to do when you finally escape the claws of a nasty, disgusting, ruthless, reckless driving. And I know everybody know how the narcissist drive. Entity of Damien is get you some safety from your head down to your feet, from right to left. In that order. I love you.